guys let me tell you right so anyway i have to wear a mask inside the house because my throat is sore right i'm pretty sure it's just allergies because i actually came in contact with something i'm allergic to which is my guinea pig um her oil got on my skin and i didn't wash it and then the next day of course my throat is sore and i was coughing up phlegm and all that stuff so wet cough i put some allergy stuff up my nose the cough went away um and the phlegm went away, most of the phlegm went away because i don't cough it up anymore <clears throat> i still gotta clear my throat um other than that i'm all right um so anyway i'm wearing the, the mask in the house so let me tell you guys about some right when I was at the urgent care, right, because I had to go to urgent care because I had this cut on my finger, right? I cut my finger, and then I noticed that it started feeling tingly around the area, and then my hand was itchy, right? So anyway, I think my hand was itchy. They, they found out that it's nothing. They found out that it's completely nothing, and so I'm fine. Um, my hand itchy because I think because I actually was in contact with something I'm allergic to again right pretty much the same thing caused by the same thing right so anyway there was this guy that was there right this guy that was in front of me in the urgent care he said that he wanted to go and get uh COVID-19 testing right but let me tell y'all about this hot mess right so anyway as he walked past me I kind of backed up from him because I'm like yo yeah he got he probably got coronavirus because a lot of people where I live they don't wear masks. They really don't wear masks. They don't care. They're trying. They're having so many parties around here. I'm pretty sure they're having coronavirus parties and they're trying to get coronavirus, right? I'm pretty sure because, you know, it's ridiculous. So anyway, he walks past me and then they make him wait in the car because they make coronavirus people wait in the car. But then, of course, I asked to get in my car because I don't want to be staying in urgent care, you know, that long waiting around. So anyway, I got in my car. I noticed that I wasn't exactly in front of the building, so I backed up, and then I went in front of the building, and then coincidentally, he was right next to me, and get this, y'all, get this, he was staring at me like I was a piece of steak, and he was hungry. He was just staring at me like, like you know how guys stare at women? I don't know, or something like that, I don't know. And this is my question, right? You, how, how in the world are you still gonna be sitting up there being trying to be attracted to somebody and you you probably have the coronavirus like how how is that even going to happen like and it's to the point where it made me worry because i'm like yo are y'all going to try to get the coronavirus or 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 if i didn't know that you were like that um would you would you try to kiss me or something and then pass it on to me how many people are still you know, going out with each other or still being incredibly attracted to each other even though they're sick. It's like, how many people are like that? Because I'm not like that because I got a mask on my face because my throat is sore. You know what I mean? My throat is sore. I ain't going to be out there trying to go after nobody or something like that. I don't know. It's just super odd to me. Um, I noticed that. And then the dude staring at me, staring at me. He must have stared at me for about three minutes straight sitting next to me in his car. And, of course, they say that the coronavirus test is going to take five to seven days, which is a long time. So, I'm like, yo, how many people is he going to come in contact with in five to seven days? You know what I mean? That's what I think about. I just think it's ridiculous. I hate this mask. But I think I'm just going to wear it forever and ever and ever and ever. Bye, guys.